Hello friends, today I am show you, how to make mockup. First bring in a plane. Change your orientation to Z. Then swing up here to the display option and turn lines on. Now come down here to the object tab and change segment to 9. Make plane editable. Now go to polygon mode. Select polygons we want to remove. Press delete. Now go to points mode. Adjust balance, so that the plane look like a t-shirt. Ctrl A, to select all points, and click on Optimize to remove all unused points. Grab a cloth surface. We drag this plane into the cloth surface. Change thickness to 30. Make cloth surface editable. Now go to Polygon Mode. Select polygons we want to remove. Press Delete. OK. Now it's look like a t-shirt. Select polygons again. Add a cloth tag, select cloth tag, click on dresser, and set, seam polys. Now click on dress o -matic. Delete cloth tag. Press Ctrl A, to select all polygons. Right click, and grab a knife, change knife mode to loop selection. Go to point mode and adjust neck part. Go to Edge Mode. Swing up here, to the Select Options, and select Path Selection. Hold click and select Path. Press right click and select Extrude. Click Hold and drag cursor. Now go to Polygon Mode, swing up here, to the Select Options, and select Loop Selection. Press Shift, Hold, and select Loop Polygons. Make sure polyons are selected then. Go to Select Option, and select Set Selection. Bring in a cube. Select Object and Change Size. 
Move cube inside the shirt. All done. Now select a cube, go to object, change segment X to 4, and active fillet. Go to edge mode. Select loop selection. Right click, and select bevel, hold click drag and drop, and change subdivision. Hide shirt. Select loop selection, press shift and hold to select both edges. Select bevel again, just drag and drop. Unhide shirt. Select scale tool, and adjust cube. Hide shirt. Go to point mode, select rectangle selection, and unselect visible elements. Press hold shift, to select points. Unhide shirt. Akinj view, and adjust cube. Change cube name to hanger. Add cloth collider tag to hanger, and cloth tag to shirt. Select cloth tag, go to force, and change gravity to minus 5. Click on play button, to see how to work cloth effect. It's look like a hard rubber. To fix this, just increase shirt segments. Bring in a subdivision surface. We drag this shirt into the subdivision surface. Select and change subdivision surface settings to 1. Make subdivision surface editable. Now play animation again. Now see there is a two problems, shirt not colliding properly. In front or back cloth merged together. To fix this problem go to cloth tag, click on expert. Active self collision. So shirt not merge together. See shirt not colliding, to fix this. Go to cloth tag and change subsampling to 5, when increase subsampling, computer get load, that's why I am calculate the cache. All done, it's look nice. Bring in a subdivision surface. We drag this shirt into the subdivision surface. There is something missing in hanger. I'm add something to the hanger, to look better. Bring in a cube change segments, and adjust. Hanger looks good, let's create hangers hook. 
change view to front. Bring in a pen, and create hoop shape. Press escape to close spline. Select both points, right click and select chamfer, drag and drop cursor. Adjust spline. Bring in a circle, change radius to 1.5. Bring in a sweep, drag circle and spline into the sweep. Swing up here to the display options, and turn lines off. Now let's create background. Just bring in a plain change orientation to Z, and resize, and move into the shirt's background. Now add a camera, and adjust. Now change resolution, make sure keep higher resolution when we create mockups. Add protection tag to the camera. I use Arnold, for rendering. Bring in Arnold Sky. Now open IPR window, to see rendering view. Wow it's look nice. Let's create Arnold standard material. Open material, click on network editor, just drag and drop, wood texture image to material. Connect image wire to base color. Increase roughness. Create another Arnold standard material. Open material, change material to metal, and change roughness to 0.5. Drag and drop material into hanger. Let's see rendering view. It's look good. Now go to rendering setting, change renderer to Arnold. Change Arnold settings, increase camera AA for high quality image. Add image location, where to save image.
Swing up here to the display options and turn lines on. Click on Set Selection tag. Right click and select Extrude. Click on Renderer. Image is rendering. It's take some time. It's look good. Now I have opened the image in Photoshop. Now I have opened the image in Photoshop. First bring in a quick selection tool. Press click hold and select shirt. Press shift to add selection. And press out to subtract selection. After selection, press Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to paste. Change layer name to shirt. Now start selecting hanger, press click hold and select shirt, press shift to add selection, and press out to subtract selection. After selection, press Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to paste. Let's create shirt's shadow. First make a copy layer, rename layer name to shadow. Move shadow down, and hide shirt layer. Select shadow layer, and set blending mode to multiply. Swing up here to the image options, and select levels, adjust input and output levels. Let's create mid -tone. Make another shirt's layer copy, change name to mid. Move mid layer, up to shadow layer. Select mid layer, change blending mode to linear dodge add. Swing up here to the image options, and select levels, adjust input and output levels. Let's create light. Create another copy of shirt layer. Change name to light. Move light layer up to mid layer. Select light layer. 
Change blending mode to screen. Swing up here to the image options, and select levels, adjust input and output levels. Select layers, press hold and click on create a group. Change group name to effects. And change layer name to hanger. Let's add color in shirt, bring in a rectangle tool, create rectangle shape on t-shirt. Convert rectangle to smart object. Select rectangle, press Ctrl hold and click on shirt layer, and add layer mask. Now drag and drop PNG image to Photoshop, and the adjust image. Double click to open smart object. Add your design here if you want. But I just add a color here. Close and save smart object. Adjust effects to t-shirt look better. Unhide and move shirt layer down. Double click on layer, and active drop shadow. Make background layer duplicate. Double click on layer. Active gradient overlay. Change style to radial. Active reverse, change angle to zero. Make image duplicate and change blending mode to hard light. Looks good, but I changed shirt color. Close smart object and save. All done, now save image.
I hope you like this tutorial.